In today's video, we are taking several comments from you to see what new things can be turned into cotton candy. Nate, I went grocery shopping. This looks like a lot of sugar. <laughs> I went sugar shopping. Sugar shopping. Sugar indeed. shopping. Uh, and we've got lots of people who have wanted to see us make stuff out of cotton candy. Yep. We've done this before. And we had Twice now, actually. so many people who just kept asking like, what about this, what about this, what about this? So we picked some of the most common ones. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try them. Here's the basic idea. We have seven new comments from you to see what can be turned into cotton candy and what's going to end in disaster. It's Nona wants to know if we can make spicy chili powder cotton candy. Guys, I love sweet and spicy. I wasn't sure if regular just straight chili powder was gonna work. So I got this. This is a very fine powdered dust that you put on popcorn. So this is not actually sugar based. Uh, so I think what we're gonna try and do is mix a little bit of this in with sugar and see if it's a fine enough powder that like when we did cinnamon, it can actually pull a little bit of that spice with it. We can try it. There's a lot of stuff here today that will need to be mixed with our cane sugar. So that's sort of the backup plan, but we do have some of our regular floss sugar with us still. So let's uh, maybe start with that. Let's turn the machine on and All get right. it warming up. You add spices until it's what you think is appropriate. The first ingredient on this is just spices, including chili pepper, but it doesn't say what other spices. Okay, so right here, I put the cone in the way and you can see it just starts getting coated in the liquid sugar, but it's not forming into strings. You can also see there's a ring that's formed around mm -hmm. here. So this is probably that flavor that we're looking for, but it's not, yeah, it's not stringing up the way we want. This is gonna be very burned yeah. flavor. Got a little, little bit of know. sort of fiberglass texture kind of it here. Kind of. Okay, see, I, I personally love that. Now I think it's just smoky. Yeah, but it tastes like that spicy, sweet powder that they put on like jelly candies and fruit and stuff. <laughs> that smoke. Now we could try making regular cotton candy and applying the chili powder. Yes. Onto that. I want so that. So how about you start washing this okay. and I'll get the other cotton candy machine going making normal cotton candy and we can try putting the chili powder on it after it's been made. Sounds like a good compromise. Hey, I think this one works faster than the other one. All right, this is a weird shape, but it's making good cotton candy, and I like this. This is the widest cotton candy I've ever seen. It's, it doesn't have a whole lot of mass to it, but it's very wide. I fixed it, ish. Nope, broke it, broke it more. <coughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. Just because it's so, like, light and airy it just sort of like you should try the cinnamon no that's like orange <laughs> like cinnamon or not cinnamon but like spicy air just like filled my my sinuses all of a sudden and it was it wasn't even too spicy for me it was just very very shockingly quick yep that gets right in your sinuses <laughs> it really does i love it can you make chili pepper cotton candy not by putting the chili pepper in the machine, but by sprinkling it on top of cotton candy. And it like gets down into the fibers. Uh-oh. <laughs> right? It's sneezing in here. <laughs> Tux Penguin wants to see if we can make apple cider cotton candy. That sounds delicious too. Everything that was chosen today, we chose because sugar was the first ingredient in these. We thought they might have a little bit better of a chance. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'd love it if this would work. Adding heat. Okay. Now it smells like apple baked cider. apples. Yeah. It's delicious smelling. I'm starting to see little tiny wispies happening, but none of them are really. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like when we had the chili powder in there. It's just stopping it from forming long strings, and we're filling the studio with thin sure. little strings. Oh, hi! I stabbed you. Oh, there we you go. You got it! You got it! Wait, my turn. Go for it. Uh, I may be in over my head here. You got this. Cinnamon last time was my favorite. I really love the spicy one that we made. This is... I'm amazed how well the tanginess comes through. Mm -hmm. That really does a good job. 
Can you make spiced apple cotton candy? Yes, you can, and it is amazing. Fast Moon Gaming asks, Nate, try putting Kool-Aid packages in cotton candy machine, see if you get flavor from it. And now it's, it suddenly smells like Kool-Aid in here. So we're now getting high floss production, but also a lot oh. of sugar being thrown out on the sides. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a lot that is not properly melting. As you can tell, Nate and I's uh, cotton candy technique is, we're learning. Rudimentary. I alone <laughs> will try this. No! Ooh. Yeah, it's like tangy. There is a slight burn flavor. Now this one did take a little bit longer for it to run. So I think it did probably burn some of those solids a little bit, but it tastes like cherry Kool-Aid. Fast Moon Gaming. Yes, you can make cotton candy out of Kool-Aid. It is also amazing. Ace the Dragon 3 says, we should try shoving hot cocoa mix in there, see what happens. So weirdly enough, most hot cocoa mixes are not mostly sugar. However, Nesquik, the first ingredient is sugar. Moment of truth. Adding heat. Holy cow! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it smells like burning chocolate! <laughs> we are, I don't think this one's gonna stick together at all! I don't, I don't think there's any saving this one. We're gonna just eat it <laughs> off of my arms. It looks like I just walked through the oldest spider webbiest house in the world. Spider-Man attacked me. Hey everyone. Sorry, Ace the Dragon 3. We tried hot chocolate, it didn't work. Just Chill asks, can you use instant coffee powder to make cotton candy? And Kate said that we might be able to try instant coffee drink, so cappuccino. Kate also had the idea of powdered jello, so we're gonna try that in a minute as well. But first, we're gonna try out this coffee thing. So this cappuccino mix, uh, it is sugar is the first ingredient. The second ingredient though is whey, which means yep. more milk solids which don't really melt, so I'm pretty concerned about the functionality of that, but I'm thinking maybe if we just have like a little bit mm -hmm. mixed in to a lot of sugar, maybe. Might work. Is this one working? Better than some. I'm getting a little bit of coffee and a lot of burned milk. Yep, I'm getting that too. And doing it's that, I'm just really wafting towards me. Me. I defer to your better judgment. To be fair, this is an adorable looking cotton candy cone. Can we just address Nate's skills at making cotton candy cones now? Let's just talk about the shapes Nate made today. I did not make that shape. You oh, changed it, was, it into that shape. It was sort of that shape. It was more like so a... So you say this is coffee flavored at this point. It's like a frap, like a if you were to make a milkshake out of coffee. I don't know. I guess I taste it a little bit. It's very, very sugary and vanilla Eli like she was saying. A hint of burned flavor. That's the coffee flavor coming through. Great. Also, I made this. It's round. I'm pretty proud I'm of it. I'm gonna punch it. Ah! <laughs> I feel so bad! So Kate and Just Chill, yes, you can actually make coffee flavored cotton candy. It's gonna be very, very sweet. It's gonna taste a little bit more like vanilla coffee than anything else if you're gonna keep it from burning, but it works. Kate also had another question for us, is can we use Jell-O? I'm not sure about this one. Now Jell-O does have gelatin in it. I'm not sure if this is just gonna gum up the machine, but we're gonna find out. Go for it, go for it. All right, that's good. Ready, ready ah. to catch this? Oh my gosh! It's kind of orangey, a little kind bit. Kind of. Compared to how bright pink some of the other ones have been, yeah, it's like a, a nice peach shade, and it seems to actually be making good strings a lot more than other stuff. Maybe the gelatin yeah. is actually a helpful thing. I wonder. All right, let's test this out. This is orange jello mixed with our sugar. You getting a little bit of orange in there? Yeah. It's not very powerful, but it, no. it's there. Kate, great suggestion. That worked. Wally 74, crushed Werther's caramel candy into the cotton candy machine, maybe? <laughs> starting to gather, starting, okay, forming, Getting forming. Sound. Yep. No burn smell yet, that's a good sign. Pinker than I would have imagined. That's a little confusing. Not as light and fluffy nope, as pure and sugar, it's, definitely. Uh, not really wanting to stay with me here. Yeah, these whisks are not agree. Nope, sorry, I tried. 
They're escaping. It smells like butter. It dissolves faster than regular cotton candy in your mouth. Soft. Yeah, and it does not make that much. Well, that tastes really good. Yeah. Wally 74. You can make a small amount of cotton candy using Werther's caramel candies, but it's a lot of work. Really tastes good though. Freeze dry honey and make cotton candy with it. Uh, Acura TLGTLM. They also say sorry for yelling. <laughs> Nate, we freeze dried our honey. We did. It's rigid. And here's the thing, guys. It it did solidify, but it's it's crunchy, but still sticky. Like everywhere where the it like must have expanded up and bubbled up, the sides are now sticky. Oh, it powderizes. Yay! Oh no. Now here's my concern. I'm more worried that we're just gonna start flinging honey. Oh, there it goes. And there's it's strings gone. everywhere. Oh no! Everywhere oh, no. strings. Remember when we this did this was 24 clean? hours ago? This was recently clean. Yeah. Oh well, well they just sort of settled. Sticking to every. I shouldn't have washed my hair last night. That was a mistake. Yeah. There's think, not even. You can hardly the, see. The biggest pieces of it are hanging <laughs> off of our light cord here. There's, I think, just so about you, the biggest flaw. I'm just gonna lick this. Tastes like I'm licking slightly honeyed paper. It, it tastes like honey. Didn't really work as cotton candy, but it does taste like honey. It's just honey just doesn't like to string the same way sugar does. No, well, and that's the problem we're having here. The fact that it's still this sticky, the fact that it it's gumming back together, there's still liquid in it, guys. It's not going to melt the same as sugar. It's not gonna solidify the same. So it's a shame, but a lot of you guys wanted to see us try, so we did. It still tastes really good though. Shockingly, everything today did work. I mean, other than the chili powder, but we weren't surprised by that. I had no sugar in it. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. You know we've always got more here to see. Go ahead and click that box up at the top, and we'll see you at the next one. Talk to you then.